So to write that down, uh, we have uh, we have uh, SF is less than S4S is less than SG at 20 kilopascals. So it is a saturated liquid vapor mixture. The quality of the vapor is uh, we can calculate it from uh, that information so that's our S4S uh, 0.832 divided by 7.9085 minus 0.832 is <coughs> So the enthalpy is, we now have quality and pressure in state 4S, that's two properties, so we can find uh, the enthalpy. So the enthalpy is going to be um, 251.4 plus the quality. times the difference in enthalpy between liquid and vapor, which is 2358.3, kilojoules per kilogram. Okay, so that hasn't got us H4, which is what we're really looking for. To find H4, we need to compare the isentropic turbine with the real turbine, okay? Uh, and they're related by the isentropic efficiency of the turbine, which we're told is 86%. So, uh, isotropic efficiency of the turbine, E to T, is the work done by the steam on the real turbine, 3W4, that's as the steam goes from state 3 to state 4, divided by the work done by the steam in the isentropic turbine, in which it goes from 3 to 4S. And if we write a first law for each turbine, ignoring potential and kinetic energy effects, and assuming that the uh, heat transfer is negligible, then we find that the work done in the turbine is the enthalpy change of the steam as it goes through the turbine. Uh, and we know all of these, we know H3 and H4S, we know the isentropic efficiency, so we can solve this to find H4. Okay. Okay, now So we can solve this for H4, and H4 is going to be H3 minus eta t times H3 minus H4s is 3307. Six
uh, that's our actual value of h4, 2265, 2266.0, really. Kilojoules per kilogram, 2266. Okay, so we can find, at long last, we can find the thermal efficiency of the whole cycle. Thermal efficiency of the whole cycle is uh, turbine work uh, minus pump work divided by heat input to the boiler, which is H3 minus H4 minus H2 minus H1 divided by H3 minus H2 is... Seven two two six six three three zero seven minus two two six six So that number above the line represents the net specific work of the whole plant. It's the turbine work output minus the work we have to take back in for the pump. That's divided by the heat input to the boiler. Turns out to be 0.338. And that is our answer. E to TH, thermal efficiency of the boiler, thermal efficiency of the plant. Okay, C is to find the quality of the steam at the turbine exit. We haven't done that. We know what X4S is, but we're now being asked for X4. Okay, so we know H4, so we can use that. Uh, H4 is uh, 2266, uh, and P4 is 20 kilopascals. So we have two properties. We should be able to find anything else. Uh, go to the tables. 20 kilopascals. Um, our enthalpy is between HF and HG, so it is uh, saturated. Okay. So the quality is 2266 minus. thing 0 0.854 <coughs>the specific work output of the plant earlier when we worked out the, um, the thermal efficiency. So this number here in the numerator of the efficiency calculation, that is the 
thermal efficiency. The, uh, sorry, that's the specific work output, the work output per kilogram of steam for the whole plant. Okay, so uh, the relationship is that the specific work output small w is equal to power output divided by uh, mass flow rate m dot. So this is supposed to be a big w with a dot over it, by the way. Uh, if you think about the units of that, it's joules per second divided by kilograms per second, which turns into uh, joules per kilogram, which checks out which are the proper units for the specific work. So the mass flow rate then is the um, total power, which is 1.2 megawatts, 1.2 million watts, divided by the specific work which is 1026.8 kilojoules per kilogram. Six nine kilograms per second. And that's the result.